Here we come, down for a start. Bodine, who was the quickest in practice unofficially, on the pole. Terry Labonte, right beside it, ready for the start of the Richmond 400, live here on the Superstation. Got a scramble and into the wall. Two automobiles look like Arrington is one of them. That's Trevor Boyce, Ken. Looks like he's got serious damage to the right front of that car. First caution coming with eight laps complete. Waltrip is in the wall. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight automobiles have tangled up. And right where he crashed a year ago, there you see Bill Elliott's number nine impaled. The number nine of Elliott right up on the fence. He's sitting on top of the guardrail. Someone must have blown an engine up there and got oil all over the racetrack. Well, there you can see he has the window net down and Earnhardt continues to work on cleaning off the windshield of car number three. Richard, how much of it is the track surface and how much of it is racing out there right now with these crashes? Well, somebody blew an engine and there wasn't no help. It wouldn't have made no difference what happened in the circumstances when they all crashed like that. Bodine just jumped out in front. And Labonte comes around. It looks like there's some handling problems on Waltrip's number 11. Darrell Waltrip all day has not been getting a good start. I don't know if the car isn't shifting well, exactly what the problem is. And here comes Earnhardt looking on the inside. He slams it down to the bottom, and Earnhardt pulls up another spot. Now, he didn't put a fender on car number 44 as he went through that time. This was the story, Ken, throughout Daytona Speed Week, and now it's the story here again in Richmond. These two guys look like they're set to brawl all through the 1986 season. Reports of bad blood between these two drivers, Bodine and Earnhardt, swap sheet metal, bang fenders down there at 200 miles an hour last week, and you know Earnhardt wants by. And here they come. Crowd's up and excited about this one. Packed house, cold day. Sun is out once again. Petty's number 43 back on pit road. But right now, the story's right here. Back into the dirt on the inside. Earnhardt gets it sideways coming off the second corner. Car three, Dale Earnhardt is completely sideways off turn. He wants by. Five laps to go. This time by. Waltrip moves in. He's running out of time. Darrell Waltrip's running out of time. If you've been with us all the way through this, remember of 100 laps or so ago when Waltrip was a lap down, he threw a punch and knocked Earnhardt sideways, and then they turned around and did it the other way around. Benny, are they even one punch apiece, and now they'll settle it on the on a final lap? They're even right now. I was thinking about that a moment Ooh. ago, but they're even right now. Darrell tried to get along. They're even right now, Dave. There's Nobody's got anything coming right now. Oh, they get sideways. He hit him coming off, and he hit him going in. He used up all of his bumper that time, and I thought that perhaps Earnhardt came off a little early on the on the uh, gas that time, which is a good way of trying to break the line of the fellow behind you. It's just a here's Waltrip keeps him straight, but he keeps Earnhardt. on tapping. Walt now Waltrip on the inside, side by side, down to the inside. Oh, four cars. There oh, it goes. There's Bo Nine into the fence. Joe Rutman spins around. Who's going to win the race? Where's Kyle Petty? Darrell Walton's alongside of him. There's the hook. Bang. Earnhardt came down, caught the right rear of Darrell's car. There's Darrell Walton's Chevrolet, and it is torn up. That's, Gone away. It's stalled on the back straightaway. It can't go any farther. Who do you feel hit who on that last thing between you and Darrell? I just racing. I ain't going to, you know, me and Darrell's got to race week to week. There ain't nothing to it. Come on, Kyle, you don't have to comb your hair. Get out here. Kyle yeah. Petty's getting a proper attire on. He's, he's removed the steering wheel from this Wood Brothers car, which uh, has been out of the winner's circle for quite some time. Come on out, Kyle. Here he is. Here's the winner. Hey. Congratulations. You surprised? Surprise ain't the word for it. I mean, you know, we get we worked hard all day. You know, the car pushed all day long, and we couldn't never get it. The motor ran good, real good. But, uh, you know, we never got the driving right until right there at the very end, and then they just drove off and left, and I got caught in traffic. But evidently, they all got to run at each other, and we were lucky. Did you, did you see the crash? No, I was I was in the middle of the back stretch, and I seen the smoke. I just run up on Daddy and him, and uh, him, and I guess the 10 cars, Sachs and those guys, and was trying to just feel, feel my way around them to finish the race. And looked down the corner and I seen a yellow bumper and I figured it was uh, Bodines or, or, uh, or Earnhardt's. I didn't know which one it was, but we was fortunate, real lucky today.